day, everyone! Welcome back to our STEM subject series. I'm Abigail Rebolanan to help and guide you towards your next step as being a grade 11 science, technology, engineering, and mathematics student. I'll be sharing with you some topics you might encounter towards this next step. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our video updates. And if you have not yet watched our previous presentation, and if you want to watch the next part of this presentation, just check the description below. So, let's start! Good day, everyone! So today, I'll be sharing with you Earth Science Topics for Grade 11 STEM for the first semester as the part six of our video presentation. And this is all about structure and composition of Earth's atmosphere. Atmosphere is a blanket of air that provides air and controls temperature. This filters ultraviolet radiation from the sun, such as the ozone layer. You have here the composition of the Earth's atmosphere, 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases. And these gases are carbon dioxide, methane, and many more. Layers of the atmosphere, from highest to lowest. So number one as the highest, and number five as the lowest layer. Number one, exosphere, 700 to 10,000 kilometers. Thermosphere, 80 to 700 kilometers. Mesosphere, 50 to 80 kilometers. Stratosphere, 12 to 50 kilometers. Troposphere, we have 0 to 12 kilometers. We also have exobase, mesopause, stratopause, tropopause. And these are the boundaries for each layer. For example, tropopause. The boundary between troposphere and stratosphere, as we can see, there is an arrow, means that it's the boundary. For example, the stratopause between stratosphere and mesosphere, and the boundary between them, and so on and so forth. In pictures, we have the layers of atmosphere, from troposphere to exosphere. Are you interested about this topic? You can research on your own for more information and details about layers of the atmosphere. So we have the importance of the atmosphere. Number one, regulates heat from the sun. Number two, protection from small meteors. And lastly, communication is possible through sound transmission. Next, we have the hydrosphere. So, this is a fact. Earth is mostly water. That's why it's called as a, or the blue planet, okay? So, water is the universal solvent. That's why it's the basis of all life on planet. Water portion includes liquid, frozen, groundwater, and water vapor. For liquid, we have oceans, seas, rivers, and many more. Frozen, icebergs, glaciers, and many more. Just like we can see in the picture on the lower right side, for the liquid water, and for the left side, we have a picture of a frozen water. Forms of water, solid, liquid, and gas. For solid, we have frost, no ice, liquid water vapor, steam, and gas, cloud, mist, fog, and dew. In pictures, for solid, we have ice, liquid, oceans, and seas, and gas. For clouds, okay? Next. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. Psalm 111 verse 4. Thank you and see you on our next video. And God bless. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And check the description below for more.